I noticed that this is a multilingual service, so if I may, I'll spice things up a bit. Um, I'm of Greek origin, and the Greek word for Easter is the word Pascha, and that means Passover. And that's quite appropriate for Easter, because like the land that was sacrificed in Egypt, which the Israelites sprayed on the door of their houses to deliver them from Egypt. So Jesus, when he died, the blood which he shed delivered them from can deliver us from slavery and sin. So, and if this isn't the only Old Testament reference which Jesus uses to say that he will die and rise again from the dead. If I may quote from Isaiah 53, um, Isaiah the prophet says, So he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life a guilt offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death, and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Now, I've quoted three verses there, they're not um, consecutive. Um, you may read the whole chapter if you like, but I just thought that these verses illustrate that Jesus would die as a sacrifice for sin, and that um, not only um, die, but rise again for life, uh, rise again in life. So my question is, why don't you encourage people to read the Bible for themselves rather than emphasising your own books? My son, what you're doing is, you're also suggesting to me what I read and how I should understand. See, you're doing to me. And every Christian, when you come and knock at my door, you want me to see the Bible the way you see it. If you got blinkers on, you also want me to put blinkers on to see. That's what you do. That is what you are trying to do to me. So you see, at the outset I said, that there are 300 prophecies were fulfilled. But I said the whale, the whale that got away, that whale came from the mouth of Jesus. Jesus spoke about Jonah and the whale. That miracle you, he didn't fulfill. Now man you bring a thousand prophecies to, to say it was justified, justified. I said the one that Jesus gave himself with his own mouth. Matthew chapter 12, verse 38, 39, and 40. Now I want you to explain that. That the sign he gave was that Isaiah, so and so. Mm, nothing at all. He said, this is the only miracle I'm giving you to the Jews. That what happened to him is going to happen to me. Did that happen? That's all. Did that happen? In a court of law, if a man had made certain utterances, I said, this is the promise he made. Did he fulfill it? Again and again he is failing according to your explanation. When I say yours, I mean the Christian explanation. He is failing again and again. So, as a Jew, if I was a Jew, I read your book, I said the man was an imposter and he deserved to die. He, if he had escaped death by the skin of his teeth, I said if we can catch him again, we will crucify him a second time. If I was a Jew. According to his own words, he is failing again and again. You justify that or you get your bishop, your Greek bishop. Tell him, if he knows English, he said, look, this man is prepared to come over all the way at his own expense from South Africa to have a dialogue in an open field where we can get 50,000 people. Hmm? And present your case, man. The thousands of Muslims will come and listen to your arguments. And of course, thousands of Christians will also listen to our arguments. So I want to do that, if you can. Get one of your Greek bishops, you know, because I can see the English-speaking bishops are, 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 are shivering. They are jittery. Maybe the Greek, the Greek, you know, the ancient Greece, Greek, he might be bolder. Try, try and get some Greek, Greek bishop. Okay? Okay, my son. It's just, just 300 were fulfilled, I agree. I said the whale that got away, what have you to say to that? That you allow this whale, whale, whale fish to get away out of your net. 
You are a very unfortunate creature, man. Huh? You, you're going to catch little fish. When you're the whale, you'll have such a big thing to get away from your hands. That's what happened. This is what, according to your scripture, Jesus failed again and again to support you. He's not supporting you. He's supporting me. Right. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha.